So this is how we're going to restore this Acer Aspire M. Um, what you'll want to do is tap F2 to load BIOS settings. Assuming you've already created uh, the recovery media, um, in this case I'm using a flash drive, um, you'll want to boot to BIOS. You'll go over to main and I enabled um, F12 boot menu uh, just in case you don't set it up here to have um, the PNY flash drive as your primary boot. So what you want to do is you'll hit F6 which will bring it up to the top and then that's the PNY flash drive. So it might it will say USB hard drive and then the name of the uh, flash drive. So you want to save changes or exit saving changes. Enter. Yes. So it's rebooting. Uh, it'll boot to the flash drive. The flash drive will take a second. It'll flicker if it has a light function. And then it'll load the recovery mode. After that you'll have to select your keyboard configuration. Uh, US for me. And then um, I had a hard time doing it because it wasn't letting me be good troubleshoot. It won't let it wouldn't let me because it was already partitioned, so I had to go to advanced options. Oops. Advanced options, CMD. Um, you'll run want to run disk part. Oops, I think it's one word. Oh yeah. You'll, that command cd slash d space c uh, will take you to the c drive. Then you'll want to run disk part. Sorry, one word. Alright, then you'll want to wait for it to load. Uh, list volumes. Alright, so that's the list of the volumes. Uh, you'll want to select volume one, which is the C drive, and then clear. And then you'll hit enter, it'll clear it out. You can hit exit, and then it, this will exit. And you can close that out. Uh, go to troubleshoot again. Oops. Troubleshoot. Stop it. Reset PC. And then you hit next and follow the instructions. Uh, you can select either of the next options, which are oh, select operating system. and then follow the instructions and then it'll restart your computer. Uh, now it restarted into the recovery mode uh, part of the restore. This will take a couple minutes. It's completely resetting the unit. After that you'll probably have to load uh, the device drivers and applications. So the manufacturer restore was complete and now you just have to set it up. If you need assistance setting it up you'll have to find another tutorial. Thank you. I hope this was helpful.